on extreme i would have to say it's that string the d string this string because when it's muted it just has like a nice warm I, i don't even know how to explain it there's just something about this string when it's muted and then it's in between a low like the low notes and the high notes yeah i guess that's why it's neutral my style of music is a collage i can't even put it into words it's a collage of all the influences i listened to growing up and also like now when i could make my own musical decisions as to the music i listen to and the music i play so it's a mix of many things but primarily soul jazz r&b and a bit of rock the title of the ep is serve chilled like like you would a drink or like a dessert or something yeah the the concept behind the ep and like the context of the music like what i talk about lyrically and and generally the themes i discuss are so heavy that we figured the best way to communicate such heavy ideas is to a chilled audience that, that's already like ready to listen the ep is basically an insight into the journey of human being so it basically talks about phases of of our journey as human beings from innocence to the introduction of the ego and the self to developing you know problems with other people and with the world around you to overcoming those problems and and rising above the things that you know you have to go through as a, an average human being in life because life cannot be linear so i met m cubed like 3 years ago when i was still in saudi academy 3 or 4 years ago and he was playing drums for the saudi academy band and i was still singing i think i I just I was in the last term of Saudi Academy. I started talking, then along the way I found out he was a producer when I was looking for a producer and he was looking for a singer songwriter to work with. So, I guess our working together was bound to happen at some point because we have so many mutual friends and our circles would always cross. And so we just met and it started the EP actually started from me sending him the original file for piece like a river flows which I had recorded on my phone little to no understanding of production whatsoever on like an app called Soundcamp then i sent it to him I was like hey yo i know you produce i've been doing this thing and i want to put it on soundcloud is there where you could mix and master it so he worked his magic then he added things that i wanted to add but i hadn't had the opportunity to to add or i had forgotten to add like water samples in the beginning and i was just like this guy gets me without me explaining to him what i want and so from then he sent me a beat he was like oh yeah i really like your vibe and i've been meaning to work with you so he sent me the beat and then he was like if you can come up with something for this beat it'd be great for and it and it was just like a four chord three chord loop so i came up with the guitar part but it took like a whole year for me to write everything and to accept that now okay now i'm ready to record because like for the longest time i never felt ready to record so after we did and it and we posted it on soundcloud and like the reception was so mad we are the product of best actions in I'd done shows for quite a while that people are waiting for me to actually record something because I've been playing for like 4 years so the people who've been coming to my shows are always like where's your album so the fact that I had recorded on its own and then recorded with Mbogwa who also is like a powerhouse in the production industry and like music industry for young ins like us so the first track is piece like a river flows which now introduces the idea of innocence as as like i was saying this is a journey of the human experience so peace like a river is like the introduction into the world and how peace will everything is because either you don't understand everything or you're just at peace with everything and then next is dreamscapes where you are becoming yourself and understanding yourself and learning that you know <clears throat> you can have dreams and goals coming up basically with an idea of who you think you are and who you think you want to be and then there's dunia where you undergo change because dunia is a song about change and you under, and you realize that life cannot be linear sometimes the things you plan may never happen and then there's singing the blues which is a song about love a typical love song basically just telling us that you know despite everything like the ups and downs of life and the change that comes love is one of the things that would help you bear through and then followed closely by uhai which is a song about love still but a song about how love is empowering 
more than it is about like boy meets girl as is the case you'll see in the blues and then finally the song that we wrote first like one of the new songs we wrote first was the song that ha- appears last on the EP it's called and it which is now is a song about triumph over all your struggles and hardship and how they form you into who you are and how the decisions and you know all the things that you have done in your life have led up to this moment One, two, three.